hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing some marinating actually i'm marinating then i will cook it tomorrow because it has to stay in the fridge for some time for the marinade thing to work well for good results so this is some steak with some ribs they are mixed so what i'll use to do the marination is this is lemon then these are garlic this is ginger this is coriander dania then i'll put a little bit of this meat tenderizer then there is oregano this is black pepper this is olive oil barbecue sauce This is wine, cooking wine. Then this is honey. So let's get into preparation of this. I'm going to prepare them in here. Then chop this, chop this. I think I'll squeeze this. Then we we'll do the mixing here. So let's get into it. The reason why I blended that ginger and garlic so is because I wanted it to be already grounded or mashed so that just in case the blender grinder won't hit every part of it. So that's the reason. So I want to continue blending it into the paste. Yeah. Cover it with a clean thing so that you can put it in the fridge. So you cover it tightly, airtight, so that the marinade can work well. Then you put it in the fridge overnight. So we'll cook it tomorrow. Yeah. Let's wait. So this is the next day. I've just taken it out of the fridge, so let's unwrap it. Yay! Yeah. It seems it worked well, so it is time to put it into the oven. So here I'm just covering the, how do we call this, oven plate or, <laughs> yeah, I'm covering it with a foil. Then I'll put the meat on top of it. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing now. 
Then I'll arrange the meat on top of it. Now time to put it into the oven. So you cook for 30 minutes at 180 degrees on one side, then 10 to 15 minutes on the other side. You turn it. So meanwhile, let's prepare the potatoes for the mashed potato. And then I add some water and a pinch of salt. So I boil it with salt so that it can get cooked with soil inside so they don't have to add salt while mashing yeah that's the reason why i'm adding salt yeah so that's it now i put it on the cooker to boil yeah and our potatoes are here they are nicely boiled so we are going to use onions garlic this is margarine then milk and this is the masher that i'm going to use to mash yeah so if you mash when you find it is so dry you can use that water that you had drained from it to make it a little bit easier to grind you can be adding that water drop by drop as you continue mashing mm. so here is our mashed potatoes so now we'll add the onions so you add the onions and continue mashing them yeah so i'll melt the margarine in in the microwave so that it can be liquid so that it will be easier to mix it in the potato the already mashed potato yeah, so I'll melt it, then add it when it is in liquid form like this. Yeah, so that you can spread it easily. Then you continue mashing and you add the milk as well. Then you continue mashing it. So I'm done mashing and these are the results. You can see how soft it is. Yeah, so this is the result. Yeah, so let's serve it and see how it is. Yay! Out of the oven. This is how it looks. I've served it with a drink and some soup beside it so that it's not that dry to eat so let me try it and tell you how it tastes let's give it a try hmm. Hmm. let's try it out hmm. It tastes amazing amazing so the reason why I blended the ingredients while marinating is for it to go in as one but you can as well avoid the blending part and just put all the ingredients in a bowl mix them then use it to marinate but I blended so that it can be I wanted the consistency so that it can be one paste one paste of a mixture of one paste made of mixture of ingredients so that it goes in as one test. I hope you get what I, under, what I mean. I hope you understand what I mean. Sorry. So, in other words, you can as well, or in another procedure, you can as well just put the ingredients together. And there you go. It is not a must you blend them. And for the mashed potatoes, you can add anything you wish to add. There are those who prefer fried onions. There are those who go with raw onions, like I've gone with raw onions. It still tastes amazing. So, you can try either 
and see which one goes well with you. So that's it. It tastes amazing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.